everybody, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness. I want you to take a long, deep look at this picture and recognize that the moment it is capturing is fulfillment of end times prophecy, a moment in time in which you're living. Specifically, it is the fulfillment of an aspect of Revelation chapter 18. You're looking at Pope Francis sitting front and center amongst a wave of suit and ties that have submitted themselves to Pope Francis in a very unique way in which the Bible said would happen. The event that you're looking at is called the Vatican Global Forum and it's hosted by Fortune and Time Magazine. And it was attended by some of the most prestigious businessmen across the world. This includes Fortune 500 CEOs, scholars, labor and church leaders, and philanthropists. And they had all attended in order to forge a new social compact for the 21st century with Pope Francis. That is, entering into a contract with Pope Francis and submitting themselves and their resources to his agenda. If we look at the document that was summarized by Fortune and Time magazine called Working Group Solutions, we can see exactly what the intent of this get together was. The document starts out by stating your holiness. The report presented here is a result of the work of some of the world's most prominent business and thought leaders. Keep that very important sentence in the back of your mind as we continue. These people that attended the meeting are the world's most prominent business leaders. And these business leaders at this forum from some of the world's largest companies have sought to answer the Holy Father's call, that is Pope Francis, to action, forging a new social compact or social contract for the 21st century. If we look at Revelation chapter 18, verse 3, it talks about Mystery Babylon, or this whore that rides the beast in the end times, the church that is control of the one world government. And it says, For all nations have drunk the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. The merchants in those days were the businessmen. And as Revelation talks about events to come, it is stating that the top merchants or businessmen of the earth will submit to Mystery Babylon, to this church, seeking her abundances and delicacies. And take a look at this picture again. The importance of where Pope Francis is situated, right in the middle of all the world's top business leaders. And they have all submitted to him their allegiance to carry out his call to action and also submitted their resources to it as well. So now that we've set the stage, wait till you see what the working groups came out with and what their plan for us is. Now what you're looking at is perhaps the most important aspect of this document that I feel you need to see and you need to share because it is so readily apparent with what they're doing with regards to the mark of the beast and its spread worldwide. This working group is focused on financial inclusion, and it talks about how there remain obstacles to achieving the world's bank goal of universal financial access, and the fact that there are many challenges to obtaining this goal with hard to reach populations, financial literacy, and other aspects. However, here is what they propose. Jumpstart the underserved markets. Companies will support initiatives to produce digital identities digital identities for the one-fifth of global citizens who lack one and therefore are shut out of the financial system. This one sentence 
is saying so, so much. It's the fact that four fifths of the world currently has a digital identity and only one fifth does not. And Pope Francis's call to action is for these companies to support initiatives to produce unique digital identities for the remaining fifth. And key words here, global citizens. Something that we have seen come up on the horizon over the past two years, and I will begin to explain to you in just a few moments. But this is the mark of the beast, in which Revelation 13, 17 talks about that no man might buy or sell, save that he has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. They want all quote unquote global citizens to have unique digital identities for the same financial system so that no one is shut out and that everyone must play. Now this global citizen term is something very disturbing in its own right, let alone paired up with Pope Francis's call to action. And it is a global community of people that identify with being part of an emerging world community and whose actions contribute to building this community's values and practices. At least that's what the website says. Really, it is preparing the citizenry for a one world government and the one world religion. They have festivals every single year all around the world. And in this one, you can see prominent musicians, actors, and politicians flashing the all-seeing eye, the pyramid structure with their eye on top, and the mind-numbing sheep all behind them giving the same exact symbolism. You have people like Michelle Obama, Jay-Z, and many other more musicians, actors, and politicians supporting this initiative. Another big initiative that is paired up with Pope Francis' call to action is the Paris Agreement, the COP21. And this one also had its fair amount of occult symbolism with this globe structure that was hung from the Eiffel Tower, which had the all-seeing eye of Osiris as part of the artwork, along with the blinded woman in which I've done symbolism on that in prior videos. It's all linked, folks. It is all absolutely linked. And to link it even more for you, if you haven't seen my video on how the Roman Catholic Church is Mystery Babylon and all the symbolism of the prophetic chapters of the Bible and how they relate to this church, please check out this video now and share with your loved ones because we are seeing prophecy fulfill before our very eyes. This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. Hope you all enjoyed this. God bless.